Alright guys, so I wanted to post a, a quiz uh, for you to walk through. Um, I guess we'll, we'll do this together because for some reason it's not letting me post this quiz. So here, what is the yellow structure? And I will give you about 10 seconds to think it through. All right, that is the basement membrane. And the tissue type, if you're curious, this tissue type here is columnar. We see the size and shape of the nucleus. Uh, we also see that we can see a lot of the cytoplasm of the cell. So it is taller than it is wide. It has this elongated nucleus. This is absolutely columnar epithelium, simple columnar epithelium. Next. What is this cell type? And to what tissue type does this cell belong? So this is um, simple squamous cells from simple squamous epithelium. This more than likely came from an oral smear. This is one of the slides we had in class, in lab, excuse me. All right, so we're going to identify the tissue type and also identify the name of the highlighted yellow structure. Ten seconds on the clock. All right, the yellow structure is the basement membrane. This tissue, so let's walk through it. We see a lumen. We see the round nucleus. We see that the cell is as tall as it is wide. So this is simple cuboidal epithelium. So now you're identifying the highlighted structures. And also, we're going to identify the tissue type. But let's focus on both, the highlighted structure and the tissue type. Ten seconds on the clock. All right, so the highlighted structure, those are definitely nuclei. And this tissue type is transitional epithelium. For bonus points, what is the name of this uh, organ where you could find this? If you guessed urinary bladder, you are absolutely correct. So let's identify the tissue type. And let's identify where in the body we would expect to find it. 10 seconds on the clock. All right, let's walk through it. So I see thin, flat cells stacked on top of each other. So because they're stacked on top of each other, I know it's stratified. Because it's thin, flat, and scale-like, this is squamous. So this must be uh, squamous, uh, stratified squamous epithelium. And I don't see keratin at the top, um, but this, lo this looks to me to be thin skin. And this is... Um, uh, again, stratified squamous epithelium. All right, so now we have a lower magnification. What is the tissue at the highlighted area? 10 seconds on the clock. All right, so I see tall cells in this tissue. I see elongated nuclei, so tall, excuse me, um, yeah, tall cells, elongated nuclei, one layer. This has to be simple columnar epithelium. All right, so this one um, is the, these are the umbrella cells of the uh, transitional epithelium, so I'm going to skip over this one. All right. Let's identify this tissue type and also name a part of the body where you expect to find it. 10 seconds on the clock.
All right, so let's see. What do I see? I see very long cells, but some of them are short. So I see short cells and tall cells. I see these big old goblet cells. I also see what looks like hair at the top. So this has to be either cilia or microvilli. So how do I decide if it's cilia or microvilli? Well, some of the cells are short like this one. Some of them are much taller like this one than short. So because of that, I'm going to say this is pseudostratified. And if it's pseudostratified, it can't be microvilli. It has to be ciliated. So this has to be ciliated pseudostratified columnar epithelium. I'm having way too much fun with this. Oh, here we go. So let's identify the tissue type and the structure that's highlighted. And also let's identify what this pink stuff is, this pink fuzzy stuff is at the top. All right, 10 seconds on the clock. All right, so let's look at this. Elongated nuclei, tall cells in this tissue, the cells seeming to be pretty much the same height. Got a goblet cell here. Um, and again, the yellows, that's the nuclei. This is the basement membrane, so this has to be the apical side. So I have this fuzz on the apical side. Well, because the cells are the same height, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is columnar. And I'm going to go ahead and say that this, which looks nothing like this over here, so I'm going to say that this is microvilli. So I will go ahead and I will say that this is simple columnar epithelium. What is this? What is this? 10 seconds on the clock. So I'm seeing a bunch of different shapes for the cells. I'm also seeing those umbrella cells that we talked about here. So because of this, um, all of these different shapes, it's definitely not pseudostratified because some of these are really, really short. And because of these wide umbrella cells sitting on top here. So this has to be transitional epithelium um, in a bit of a higher magnification. And this is found in the urinary bladder. And this is the last one that we will do. Um, so 10 seconds on the clock. We'll figure out the structure, the tissue, and where to find it. All right, so the structures here, I definitely am going to say these are goblet cells, our mucus-producing cells. I'm looking at the cells and they're pretty tall and the heights look just about the same. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say this is simple columnar and again to remind you where to find um, the different types of columnar. Um, pretty much most of the digestive tract going from stomach to rectum. In the gallbladder, um, parts of the uterus has this. Um, Ciliated uh, lines the bronchi, uterine tubes, uh, excretory ducts. So there's a lot of places we can find it. Alrighty, that is it for your quiz. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.